Hey gang, and welcome to the very first step in becoming a Laravel Ninja. Alright then, so what is Laravel exactly? Well, in a nutshell, Laravel is a framework for creating PHP websites, and it works really well with MySQL databases. Now, out of the box, it also comes packed with loads of useful features, such as Blade, which is a templating engine, and that makes it really easy to create dynamic HTML pages. It also comes fully baked with a full authentication system right out of the box that is dead easy to set up, and it comes with something called Eloquent Models as well, which makes it really easy to query a MySQL database without writing a load of SQL. Now, it also utilizes an MVC approach, and that stands for Model View and Controller. Now, you might have heard of this before, you might not. It's basically a type of application design pattern which determines how we structure our code. Now, you don't really need to understand much of it just yet. We are going to go into depth as to what each of these different things are later on. But basically, a model represents some kind of type of data that we'd store in our database, for example, a user. And the view over here represents an HTML template that we'd send to the browser. And the controller is the thing in the middle that we can use to get the data from the model or using the model and then inject that into the view and return it to the browser. Now, like I said, we'll learn all about these three different moving parts later on in Laravel in detail. But for now, what I'd like to do is show you what we'll be building in this course. So then my friends, this is the website that we're going to be using. And just before we go any further, I know that I'm not going to win any design awards for this website. But at the end of the day, I'm not trying to teach you CSS or web design. I'm trying to teach you how to use Laravel to create websites. And then you can worry about styling them yourself later on. But this one that we're going to create is called Pizza House. And it's basically a simple pizza ordering website where any user can go on and order a pizza and then a staff member in Pizza House could log on to the website and it could see all the orders and then complete the orders. Okay, so first of all, let's try ordering a pizza. So simple form, you can pop your name in. I'm going to say Sean and then choose a type of pizza. I'll go with Veg Supreme, crust type. Let's go with garlic and then mushrooms and peppers on top. Order the pizza and then hopefully that will take us back to the home screen where it says thanks for your order. Now, if I'm a staff member and I want to see all of the orders, I can go over here and log in. And I've already created a login. Let's hope I can remember the login details. I think it's mario at pizzahouse.ninja. And then the password is test1234. Cross my fingers, log in. Yep, okay, so now I'm logged into the dashboard. I can view all of the pizza orders over here. I've already created some before I started this video, so we had a few here. The one I just created, I think, is up here, Sean at the top. We can see Veg Supreme, Garlic Crust, Extra Toppings, Mushrooms, and Peppers. I can complete the order right here, and then it's gone from the list. If I go into another one, I can complete that if I wanted to, and that would go from the list as well. Go in another one. If I didn't want to complete it, I can go back to all pizzas, or if I prefer, I can log out and that's going to redirect me back to the home page. OK, so this is all created using Laravel and the Laravel auth system and MySQL as a database. And this is what we're going to be building in this series. And while we do that, I'll be making sure that we cover all of the basics of Laravel, as well as a couple of the more advanced concepts, too. Now, before we go any further, I just want to make one thing clear. This is not an absolute beginner's course to PHP or anything like that. You should already have a basic understanding, at least, of PHP and MySQL. If you don't, then I do have a complete PHP tutorial for beginners, which covers MySQL as well. And that is right here on YouTube. So I'll leave the link to this playlist down below. I also have a object-oriented PHP course as well. So if you want to take your knowledge of PHP a little bit further, then this is definitely going to be beneficial as well. That link will be down below. And finally, you should understand a bit of HTML and CSS because that is what we're going to be using to create our templates that we send back to the browser. So again, I've got a whole playlist on HTML and CSS, which I will leave the link to down below. OK, so Next, you'll need some kind of text editor. My favorite at the minute is Visual Studio Code, but you don't have to use this. You can use what you want. But if you want to use this, you can get it from code.visualstudio.com and click on the download button right here. And I do also have course files for pretty much every single lesson 
in this playlist. So they're all up here on this GitHub repo right here, Laravel Beginners Tutorial. This link is going to be down below. Now, like I said, each lesson has its own code, and that means that each lesson has its own branch. So if you want to see the code for lesson seven, for example, click on the branch drop down, select lesson seven, and then you can see the code inside the Pizza House folder right here. Or if you prefer, you can just download the zip file right here. Okay. So there we go. That is your introduction to Laravel. If you do like these videos, my friends, please don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and all that jazz. It really means a lot to me. And if you do want to help out the cause as well, you can click on the join button right here. It's only 99 pence or cents per month, depending on where you live. And you get these cool little badges next to your name down in the comments as well. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and install Laravel onto our computer and then dive right into creating our project.